Hi guys! Are you tired of slow internet speed and network congestion? Do you want to unleash the full potential of the fiber optic technology and supercharge your network? Today in this video, I'm going to explore the differences between gigabit switches and 10G network switches, understanding their capability and discover how fiber optic technology can unlock a new level of network performance. And if you're interested in learning more about 10G network, please like and subscribe our channel fast cabling and never miss an update on our channel. So network switches plays a vital role in modern data transmission by providing efficient and reliable connectivity in computer networks. Now they serve as central hub for data traffic, allowing devices to communicate with each other seamlessly. And when it comes to data transmission, fiber optic technology has emerged as a superior alternative to traditional copper-based Ethernet. It transmits data using the pulse of light and have much higher bandwidth capabilities and immune to electron magnetic interference, allowing for fast data transfer rates, supporting larger amount of network traffic, and ensuring a more stable and reliable connection. So there are many types of switches. Gigabit switch support gigabit network, offering data transfer speed of up to 1 gigabit per second, and is commonly used in small to medium-sized network. On the other hand, 10G networks support 10 gigabit Ethernet, and delivering data transfer speed of up to 10 gigabit per second, offers significantly higher bandwidth capacity and is commonly deployed in data center, enterprise network, and high performance computing environment. So in summary, gigabit switch are suitable for everyday network needs and provide reliable connectivity for regular transfer rates. On the other hand, the 10G network switch can offer large-scale data processing, high-speed storage network, and demanding application that require fast data transmission. So the choice between the two switches is actually depends on your specific requirement. So this is the gigabit switch that I talked about. It has a 1 gigabit GPOE port and 2 SFP port and it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard. And each of the ports can provide up to 30 watts of power and has 120 total power budget. Now, it also has traffic management since this is a web smart PoE switch and also has QoS VLAN capabilities. So now I'm going to talk about this one. This is the 10G network switch. Now it has high speed 10G SFP plus uplink for large file transfer. Also it has a 2.5 gigabit per second RJ45 PoE port and provide up to 60 gigabit per second of switching capacity. And it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. It has 90 watts of power output for port number 1 to number 4 and 30 watts of power output for port number 5 to number 8. And has total 240 watts of power supply. It has faster and better network connection for entertainment or office, such as using VR gaming or video conferencing. Now, I'm going to do the connection using this switch and an other 10G switch. And I'm going to use the fiber optic cable in between to connect them. So now let's do the connection together. So this is the whole connection. We're going to connect to the wireless access point at the edge. So now let's do it from the beginning. We're using this 10G unmanaged switch. Now first I'm going to connect our router to the switch to provide data. This switch is not PoE compatible. And this is the SFP transceiver. We'll usually sort it separately because it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable and the connector that you use. And I'm going to plug it into the SFP transceiver over here. 
This is the four-strand fiber optic cable that we're using and it's pre-mated so we don't need to worry about the connector and it's 100% tested in the factory. Now let's use string A for now. Plug it into the transceiver. So for this side, we are all done. The fiber optic cable can provide high speed, low latency and longer distance. This is 300 meter fiber optic cable. So when we come over this side, we are going to do the same thing. This is the eight port PLE and manage switch. Now let's plug in the SFP transceiver to the SFP slot. And we use string A, right? Let's plug it in for the connection. You can see the light is on instantly. And now I'm going to use the ethernet cable to connect the wireless access point to our switch. And it can support PoE technology and also 10G network speed. You can see the light is on, it's scanning power and data at the same time using the PoE technology. It just need a little bit of time to run. So you can see the whole connection is done. So there are a few more considerations you should keep in mind before you set up your 10G network. First is the compatibility with existing network infrastructure. Make sure you connect to devices that also can support 10G. That's why I used the 10G PoE switch to connect to a 10G and manage switch. Otherwise, you would not get 10G speed at all. Now, second is the cost consideration and budget for switch upgrade. So make sure you think first before you purchase the 10G devices. Last but not least is the future scalability and growth planning. And thank you very much for watching. And we appreciate your support and cannot wait to bring you more in the future. So please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And also you can share it with a friend or family who may benefit from our videos.